Hey guys, hey journalistas, this is my March journal for Dear Julie Julie. I did a little different. I did, I've did. used some of my stuff that I had pre-made and things I had laying around for my stash and then followed the guidelines. I just decided to add some beads. These are, um, these beads right here are beads that sort of look like stones that uh, I tried these some time ago. It's made out of toilet paper. And then I use fingernail polish to paint them. And of course, these are paper. This is the edging of a pa of a copy paper left that I did in book pages. So I just used some scraps to make some things. So I thought I'd add them to this journal since the color scheme I came up with. Happiness is made to be shared. That's sort of how I went along. Sort of happiness, uh, feel good, friendship type thing. I thought the birds sort of played that off. Because that's the kit that I use, Birds and Blue. And so let's see here what I came up with. I'm not going to be able to tell you exactly which ones are what of the challenge, but I followed everything that we were supposed to. I think this was the torn paper page. It's a lot thicker. And I used old book pages scraps that weren't any good. There's the bank envelope that I did a little differently with that than I usually do. This is my envelope. Made it into a tuck using my stamps and different things. Or I made it into a pocket. I didn't say. I didn't mean tuck. And I used my painting papers or my dyed papers on the back of a lot of them. That's what I sort of decided to do. Bring in some of the colors and some of the brighter colors as background for journaling. I want a lot of writing space. Some pockets there. This was, the, I know that this one is, this is the strips. I made a page using strips. I wove, uh, this is actually origami paper that I cut up into strips. And I made a page with it. Altered paper clip using some scraps and different things there. Piece of brown paper. Tried to use up some of the scrapbooking paper that I really didn't like as that, but I thought the colors were really good with this. Let's sort of went with the browns and the blues. Top tuck going on there. Cut up one of the digitals for it. See, there's a ledger turning it into a little pocket. Round pages. And I decided to do some really positive affirmations on there. And I used the back side to make tucks, little mini po pocket tucks in there. And then if you do, you can. This one won't, but, you know, it'll go down in there pretty good. This was uh, some vellum paper stamped on it. Just give it a little noise, as Julie says. She loves the noise. This was one of the challenges uh, that I used. It's an envelope. And you can see some of the background. It was actually an envelope that I had that I'd used when I did on the fabric challenge. I'd drawn out some designs out of metallic and then used fingernail polish to paint the nylon, the pantyhose that I made some flowers and things out of. And I still had that laying there. And I said, you know what? I'm going to turn that into using the envelope for this challenge. Made a tab. There's the other side, so you got plenty of places to tuck stuff in there with that envelope. This was my ugly paper. It was that yellow ugly, and so I stamped it with a bunch of different things, sort of, and used stickers and different things on it and dollies. Some of the stenciling. This was an actual gel print of mine that I did, and I turned it into a digital. This is one of my gel, gel prints, and I thought the colors matched really well. I did using some of my dyed papers and made a little notebook for more writing. For somebody who has, likes to have a lot of blank and writing places in their journals, I sure don't use journals. I've got plenty stored if anybody needs any journals. This is my sticker page. I used border stickers to make my sticker page. I thought that would be pretty cool. Just some more prints. 
the other side of my jelly print and then we'll tuck another little notebook some different type of papers in them and more of the ugly paper and I put a bag on it belly band a little notebook stuck in there that crinkly paper there's the other side of the round and this is what I was saying using it as tucks um, I didn't glue them all down, so they will go all the way through. There's the back side of that one. So you can actually have something that's accessible on both sides of the round page there. Just old brown paper there. Turn into a little mini flower. I'll flip out. You can see the stenciling and stamping. I'm not pointing it out, but I did everything I needed to do for the challenge. Only made one this month. Decided to do other things. And there's the bike. And there you go. There's my March Challenge Journal. Thank you. Bye, Journalistas.